Hello everybody. As you can see, due to the financial hardships of lockdown, I've had to uh, relocate my accommodation and I've just popped into the library to uh, leave a message for everybody who's involved at Watermill Jazz. Uh, Watermill Jazz has long been known as one of the uh, best places to play in the UK. Uh, the treatment's exceptional, you are always fed, we're always watered, they're always ready to put on new material they haven't heard before, take chances and book a wide range of artists ensuring that um, new music gets heard and old favourites return as well. So it's no surprise to me that their generosity is reflected in their audience and I'd just like to say a great big thank you to everybody who contributed to uh, the Alan Barnes Octet um, and their cancelled gig on the, I think it was July the 25th. Um, uh, this thanks doesn't just come from me, it comes from Bruce Adams, Mark Nightingale, Robert Fowler, Mick Foster, David Newton, Simon Thorpe, Clark Tracy and of course from myself. Uh, we've been finding new things to do, uh, teaching online, uh, doing some arrangements and generally getting ready for when we're allowed to come back and do some proper concerts and I know that when that time comes the water mill will be one of the first places that gets up and running and uh, encourages us to carry on. Uh, they've also done remarkable work uh, with all these different people giving speeches, Arnie Somage's educational videos and uh, so just a general thank you very much for considering us and keeping us all going. And we'll see you on the other side and really look forward to that day. So bye for now.